Adam Rhodes, I'm the Article 114 Next Gen Rep for NACA. Um, I started as a controller in 1998, United States Marine Corps. Um, worked at New River, that's a small air base right by Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Um, and then served five years there, got out, got almost immediately hired as a contract tower employee with uh, Midwest ATC in Joplin, Missouri. And I spent the next three and a half years as a controller in Joplin, Missouri. Um, applied for the FAA. Um, got hired in uh, April of 2007 at Houston Hobby Tower. I spent about two, a little over two years, two and a half years a hobby. Transferred to Houston Tracon and I've been at Houston Tracon from 2009 until today. I'm the Article 114 rep for NextGen. I work with FAA and the industry to help uh, provide a controller-based perspective uh, to the design and implementation of new technologies that are introduced into the national airspace system. Basically a lot of meetings. Um, probably when Paul Rinaldi and Trish Gilbert actually came to Hobby when they were campaigning for their first uh, election as president and vice president, um, I met them, um, inspired me, um, and then over the next probably months to year or so, uh, I shared my passions with them and my interests, and they encouraged, uh, again, inspired me to um, get involved and actually open the door um, for the different interests that I had to get involved. It's, um, it can be difficult. It actually can be very difficult at times. Um, I've got an amazing wife that takes care of uh, me, um, <laughs> first and foremost, and then our five kids. So, uh, you know, we have a lot going on. Um, but it's, uh, it's difficult. It's, it's really a juggling act. Like you described it, um, you have to, uh, you know, you have to really prioritize, delegate and, and no one to say no as well. It's really juggling the priorities within, within the two. You know, I thought about that for a while. Uh, I, I think it comes, I think satellites, working satellites, just because anything can happen, anything, everything happens, you get a mixture of uh, pilots that don't have a clue what they're doing to, um, uh, you know, a sequencing to an airport um, and just the complete unknowns, pop-ups and, and really thinking on the fly. And that's what I really enjoy as a controller, being able to, being able to kind of think on the fly, um, adapt to the different situations and uh, satellites are kind of where you find all of that. Well, uh, apparently not so well. I have a full head of gray hair almost, so uh, if that tells you anything. But uh, honestly, um, I've always chalked it up to if, if you've got the aptitude for the job, then, then there's not much stress associated with it. I've, I've always found a calmness, honestly, in working traffic and talking to airplanes. And probably the biggest stress of the job, I would say, is the, the personalities from, from the people sitting next to you to the people behind you. And so that's probably the biggest stress, but I've never found working airplanes is stressful. Uh, there's a lot uh, that, that happens, but honestly, it was almost like a, a Homer Simpson moment for me. Uh, so I was the one that everyone was laughing at at the time, so I, uh, I guess I'll, I'll call myself out. But I remember app wrecking with Houston Center, an aircraft going, it was a military aircraft going out west somewhere. I had no idea where they go. I'm in the Tracon. We don't know where they go. Um, I knew he was going out west, and he's climbing to about 20,000 feet. So I wanted to get him more direct, so I call Houston Center and, and say, hey, app wreck, um, whatever his call sign was, you know, um, uh, Gunner one two three direct wherever and the Houston Center comes back and says just send them direct Texas. I said, all right, assuming it was an intersection or something. I said, could I get the spelling for Texas? And in in the most perfect like Billy Madison spelling bee competition voice, she responded, T E X A S Texas. And I said, 
I didn't. I couldn't even say anything at that point. You know, I, she called me out so bad just by spelling Texas uh, that I just hung up and cleared the guy direct Texas, and and that was it. But yeah, I got laughed at pretty hard for that. I'm not going to inflate anyone's ego. <laughs> They've it's already inflated enough as a controller, but the best controller I've ever worked with. Um, on any given day is is any given controller. They, we rise to the occasion when we need to, and 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 at a facility like Houston Tracon, it happens frequently. Um, I, I've seen I've seen people that I would have never expected just shine in that moment, and it, it's just about coming together honestly as a team. And that's in in those situations with weather or emergencies or unusual situations. I've seen any given controller. It'd be the best controller I've ever worked with at that particular day. Absolutely a 10. And, and if you can't say that as an air traffic controller, you're either one in training or two, you probably should pick a different career. Probably probably to watch out for that VFR aircraft at 12.5 flying over top of the Bravo, not talking to anybody, and uh, tell myself to vector the speedbird around him next time instead of through the aircraft. I think that would probably be the best piece of advice because that, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Makes a good fat crap. Justice, judgment, decisiveness, integrity, dependability, tact, initiative, enthusiasm, bearing, unselfishness, courage, knowledge, loyalty, and endurance. That makes a good fat grip. Um, honesty and, 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 and honestly, thick skin. Rude pilots and rude controllers. We're, we're all on the same team, and we're all trying to accomplish the same mission and we do an amazing job at that and I know that sometimes the stress gets to us but ultimately we got to remember that we are on the same team and uh, yeah root pilots and controllers absolutely uh, Jim Halpert from the office I think if I mean I've watched the entire series a couple times and and I think that guy's probably spot on Adam as an air traffic controller You know, I touched on this earlier, but it really comes down to family. Um, no division, no lines. It's brothers and sisters working together um, for one common goal with a collective voice. Uh, I've been blessed to, to actually do exactly what I feel I'm passionate about, and that's serving our membership. And we've got so many controllers that, that sit behind the scopes and work traffic day in and day out, you know, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, to allow me to go out and, and, and serve them, honestly, on their behalf. And, and I, I cannot thank them enough to allow me to be in the position that I'm in and the role that I'm in, but, and I don't take that lightly at all. Um, I, I'm here to serve our membership 100%. And 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 we again we all have our we all have our own roles we all we all have our strengths we all have our weaknesses, um, but it's it's us coming together as one voice and and working towards a common goal. It's a family. Hey, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, and I hope you did, uh, we're gonna have many more of them. Follow the NACA Southwest Region on Facebook and Instagram and. Um, that's about it.